Hello, my name is Craig Mason and this is Property Influencers, where we talk to some of the leading figures in the retail real estate market. I'm here today with uh, Robert Bonwell, who is the CEO for retail for Jones Lang LaSalle. Welcome to Mappic. Thanks, Craig. Well, look, just tell us uh, what you guys do here at Mappic. What are your objectives uh, for this very busy few days? As usual, it's a great event. I'm hearing we've got 8,000 people. Oh, it's fantastic that we've got that number. Also, in particular, that there are 2,200 retailers here, which I think is the highest number of retailers we've seen. And I think that says a lot about the market today. Uh, and if you look at our stand and the 100 people we've got here, our focus is very much towards the retailers, very much towards their expansion. Uh, and uh, looking for their expansion to the east and helping them go further east and looking at how they're going to solve their issues in some of the Western European markets. So the hundred people we've got here are really focused on sharing advice and knowledge to all of our landlord clients, our investor clients and our retailer clients and just getting connected with the market and everything that happens here over the next uh, few days. Where do you see sort of the economic uh, climate heading and, and how do you see it affecting your business and affecting the broader retail space? I think when you look at the retailing world um, and you start looking at the retailers, every retailer we talk to at the moment says, I want to be in Germany, I want to be in Turkey and I want to be in Poland and perhaps I want to be in Russia. Reasons are pretty, pretty clear, G strong GDP, strong economic conditions, strong growth, contrast with clearly some of the uh, more difficult countries of Spain, Ireland, Greece, Italy, not quite so high on their agenda because of the uncertainty. But they've got a contrasting situation of expansion and also issues in some of the more mature countries. And so you're seeing retailers look at their portfolio, reviewing their existing portfolio, perhaps consolidating for different reasons, perhaps we'll talk about some of that later, and then secondly expanding into some of these growth markets. So uh, from a retailer perspective, it's a real patchwork of solutions that they have to uh, solve for the whole of Europe. From an investor perspective, from uh, those investing in shopping centres, we've already seen huge growth in Germany and Poland this year, and we've some, seen some of the fringe markets start to suffer a little bit more. So some of the Western European markets, you'd expect to see lots of activity like Spain and Italy. We've seen that decline. We've seen one or two exceptional deals in Spain and a couple in Italy, but generally a decline. Uh, and the big question on everybody's mind is, at the end of this year, what's next year going to look like in terms of capital flows? Where are they going to go? Where's the focus? And our prediction is very much that it's focused still on those core markets of UK, France and Germany as the principal markets, Central Eastern Europe, that, and look out for Turkey and Russia. You know, there's been a lot of talk about reinventing the, the retail experience. Um, where do you see the innovation? happening and what sort of things are you looking at in terms of innovating in the retail space? I think two things Craig. One, we, we released uh, a report now a year old called Retail 2020 which focused on the future of retailing over the next 10 years and the focus was very much around the digital experience, clearly the internet and the influence of the internet, around consumer data, around the leisure and the aspects of a shopping centre and how to develop the footfall and holding people in shopping centres. Uh, and also around the, uh, the sustainability side of shopping centres. Um, great profile of that report and we just released the final chapter, it's called Chapter 9 of Retail 2020 and there were five key lessons, just, just pick on two of those key lessons. One was very much around the mindset of how we use technology and clearly we see a huge impact of yes the internet, yes social media, but also the impact of that massive amount of data that the retailers hold on their consumer base. It's an incredible mass of data. If you're a landlord, it's all great knowing the footfall and knowing your rentals, but that data which those consumers, those uh, retailers have on the consumers is incredible. So we see a lot of partnership around that consumer data. Secondly, around the uh, sustainability and the future aspects of, uh, of retail sustainability, we currently benchmark 400 shopping centres around Europe in terms of their sustainability in terms of the energy, security, etc. that they deliver. Uh, and there's an awful lot of focus on my shopping centre being very sustainable. So, so these retail trends around the innovation around technology and innovation around sustainability we certainly see continuing. So a lot of change coming over the next 10 years and it's here and now and it's certainly going to happen in 2012. 
Now, as a, as a company, you mentioned that you very much see yourself as retail intelligence. What sort of things are you doing internally um, to try and, I guess, predict where things are going to be heading? I guess our focus is that we know it's going to be a tough economic and retailing market over the next 10 years in Western Europe. You know, we all know that. And we've come through a sort of period of a bit of a boom over the last 10 years. Um, and the client set and the market is looking for extra depth and quality of advice, hence our branding of retail intelligence, the depth of that intelligence. So we've developed clearly that Retail 2020 uh, program I talked about for future trends and opportunities. But more importantly, I think, today, it's about that depth of knowledge of the markets. Because as I used the word earlier, it's a patchwork of solutions in different countries. And that depth of knowledge through what we call our Retail Hub, which is a technology site with depth of information about all of the shopping centers, all of the high streets, GDP, economics, right down to aggregate rental levels for different retail sectors, that's to educate our team, but it's also to help advise our clients as to where that future will be. So we've invested a lot in sharing not data, but information which is much closer to be able to help us advise our client set going forward. Because it's going to be tough to decide to where to put your money as a retailer and as an investor. And we're here to solution that. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time. Appreciate great, great. you being here. Thank you. And uh, we hope you enjoy the rest of your time at Murphy. I will indeed.